<laughs> that the flight is lesbian. <laughs> that's so fucking good. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this morning issue with that is I haven't had a coffee or anything this morning so it might be kind of monotone and uh, uh boring as fuck I got a few things that I want to like get off my chest as per se as per se what does that even mean I want to get some things off my chest as per se I don't even know what I'm saying I'm being like one of those people that just grabs words and throws it in between so I just fluff about a whole lot. Sorry if the yelling is too much. I'm using my Cena microphone today because my other microphone died and I forget that like, I think this microphone is like a fuckload more sensitive. I hope it's actually working anyway. Yeah, but a few things to say. And it kinda, uh, it kinda, it's about the whole like YouTube channel being successful and YouTube channel not being successful and uh, <laughs> yeah, sweet. <laughs> Sorry, chick writer. I have to give her like the heads up, man. Anyway, it's about YouTube channels being successful and not being successful. And uh, this might seem like I am targeting one person recently who really kind of really fucked me off. And to be fair, this is not targeting you, man. This is actually just, you were just like the cherry on top of something that was really fucking me off. Fuck, man, I like did this run recently and it was so good it was so fluent my language was great oh and like it was just so on point and now i'm fucking up all over the place maybe it's because i'm writing in a group and i was writing by myself last time and that was kind of cool fuck i need a coffee but yeah youtube success so there's a lot of people going on about uh youtube changing its algorithm i don't even know if it is the algorithm i just like to say algorithm because it makes me sound like some sort of nerd there's a lot of people saying that has affected views and i'm not here to argue that i don't i've i've noticed a drop uh, on a lot of people's channels like people seem to have the facts that back this uh, blah 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 i'm not here to argue that whatever's happening there i have no fucking idea fuck i love that her number plate says lesbian that is so good it is so fucking good Oh god! Anyway, um, uh, what am I talking about? Lesbians? No, nope, not talking about lesbians. I'm talking about uh, YouTube success. Yes, yes. Well, I'm not. I'm not talking about any of that shit. What I am talking about is people finding lame ass excuses for the YouTube channel not doing well. And I've had a few common, common excuses. I hear it a lot. To be fair, I do hear it a lot, and I can't imagine what some of the bigger voter vloggers hear all the time. But um. I just wanted to like kind of call some people out and call out some legitimate bullshit. So there's a few things that's been raised to me like things that would make you a successful motor vlogger. Like straight up, it's just like a, it's like a pack you buy, like the motor vlogger starter kit or a million subscriber motor vlogger starter clip. Clip. <laughs> Is it clip instead of kit? That's never happened. That's a great audience slip. You know, Clit, where is Chloe? All right, so the few things that were raised to me were raised to me. Fuck, I am not speaking English today. Anyway, first thing was that to be a successful motor vlogger, you have to have the best bike money can buy. And I call absolute bullshit on this one. Why? Well, Baker X Derek, let's say, like, he's, a, he's a pretty big motor vlogger. He's one of the OGs. To be fair, he just had a pretty average 636. Don't get me wrong, it's a fucking sexy bike, but it's not exactly like a bike that no one else can afford, if you know what I mean. Lesbian diva. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm feeling that. I'm so feeling that. That shit's so good. Arson rides, for God's sake. He was on that, sh or he still is. I don't even know on that shitty Kawasaki thing that keeps breaking down. Don't get me wrong. I say shitting in a really endearing way because, like, all well, my pecs are shitty. But he's still fucking kicking ass at it because, you know, because he's a good motor vlogger. He's got good fucking content. Which brings me on to the next point. Oh, you only get popular if you get a shout out from a big motor vlogger. Yeah, getting shout outs definitely helps. Don't get me wrong. But to be fair, bigger motor vloggers aren't just gonna fucking shout you out if you haven't got the decent content to chuck out there. They're not just gonna give any random person 
a shout out. And if they did, people won't stick around to your channel cause, just because they sold them to. If your shit's boring as fuck or if you are putting out regular content. My channel has taken a massive dive recently in views and subs and all that kind of stuff. But I know why and I'm okay with that because I have been creating content. My content is very spread out. You know, you can't just expect to be able to film something talking about nothing and just check it out. You've got to be an entertainer. And if people aren't watching your shit, I'm sorry, but the truth is your shit is boring. You can't just expect to post videos. You've got to do the research. You've got to find out what fucking works. But like everything goes through a process to make sure the content is actually things people are going to want to watch. That's the same thing you should be doing with your channel. Good on you if you want to do something that's completely original, but by doing original, you should kind of expect that shit might not go your way in the end. Now, the next one that gets me. This one was a fucking doozy for you if you can, me, if you can imagine. I was hashtag TRUD! The only way to get a better YouTube channel is to have a vagina. To like, calm myself before I start on this topic. Woosah. Fucking bullshit, motherfucker! That's got nothing to do with anything we do! Fuck you! Fuck you! If that was true, if a woman, if you were like, had to be a woman to, 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 to get views, all the biggest motor vloggers would be women! What are they? But they're all men! All the top motor vloggers are men! Again, I'm not singling someone out, you just happen to be the cherry on top. And then because of that, you're kind of getting roasted. Not only by saying that you need a vagina to become top motor vlogger, you're also undermining, 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 <laughs> massively the amount of work that some vloggers have put into their shit. A girl and her bike, for example, she's a woman, she's a woman, but she didn't get all her fucking views because of that. She got it because she creates good fucking content. It helps that she's a female and she gives a different kind of like look on things, but she couldn't just be a female and be posting boring ass bullshit and get the views. She works so hard on everything she puts out there, man. That really gave me a tight chest. I felt that one. I need a coffee to like recover from that, right? I think is why. Oh God. I can keep arguing my points, but I think I've said enough. 